Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench I want to tie you up Don's Bronze Bomber Chronomid. Sometimes you need a little slightly bigger chronomid. Normally we size, you know, time in a size 18, 16. This one's an actually 14 2S long, so quite big. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 14 2X long curved. We'll use some 6 aught gray thread to tie with, some white antrum for the gills, a 7 64th inch magic brown bead for the bead, some 6 aught gray thread for the body, some 0.5 millimeter bronze window tint for the first rib, some fine red wire for the second rib, and some 6 aught rust thread for the thorax. So to start the fly off, I put the bead on the hook with the wide side, the wide diameter towards the eyelet because we are going to tie in some, some gills on the fly. I like to use white antron, so I'm going to start with my thread, just get a base layer of thread on there and cut it off. Take some white antron, take a few turns and tie that in right behind the eyelet for the gills. Cut off your excess. And just do a whip finish there before you put your bead over it. So we'll whip finish there, cut off our thread, and bring our bead over. And we'll cut the gills to length a little bit later. Next, we're going to take our 6 aught gray thread. And I love this color too. I love the blue done and the grays are great for body colors, for crotiments. Tie that in. And we're going to take our red wire and I like to take the red wire and tie it in now and just have the red wire go along the whole side of the hook. I'm just taking a wrap all the way down and this red wire will be one of our ribs a little bit later. So tie that right back to the bend in the hook and stop there. Now we've got the uh, different window tint colors. We've got the, uh, you know, the blue, we've got the gray, we've got this bronze window tent. This bronze window tent is awesome material for ribbing and creating bodies. So we're just going to take a few wraps to tie it in at the back and just keep it thin at the back. I mean, it is a bomber. It's going to be a little bit bigger fly. And bring it up. And again, you're just creating a body on the fly. And you just want to taper it slightly. Again, if you want it thinner, just give your Bob in a few spins just to lay that thread down a little flatter as you go. And just build up the body a little bit. It is a bigger fly, so again, you can, uh, can be quite tapered towards the top. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just slightly tapered towards the, the bead and finish there. What I like to do is actually tie in my window tint first. So I'm going to Take the ribbing and again do like six to seven. There's there's three there, four, five, yeah, you know, six is per for this one. And one went right into the top. And finish up behind the bead. Take a couple of wraps, tie in your material, and then cut it off. Next up will be to take our our red wire that we've had off the back and then again just I like taking one wrap at the tail and then coming over top and try to stay just in front of that bronze window tent you just put in. I just stay as close as I can to it without covering it and just stay in front. And this will give us really two distinct ribs, a bright rib and a duller rib, both kind of bronzy and red which goes great with this bead color. I love using the bronze window tint when I'm using the magic brown beads, which is one of my favorites. And again, just windmill, windmill your uh, wire to get it off, and it just pulls off seamlessly. What we're gonna do now is just whip finish, just a couple quick whips to tie off our, our gray thread. That gets rid of the gray thread. We still got the gills. And now just to finish off too at the head, I like to put in that, that rust color thorax. I mean, a rust thorax is always nice. Again, it matches the bead beautifully. 
with that uh, magic brown bead. Snip off your excess there. And just taper it a little bit towards the bead. And then take a few whip finishes to finish that off. And then cut off your excess. Now, if you've got, again, as I mentioned before in a few videos, if you've got extra, extra thread there, just give it a little wick, just burn it off. And make sure you hold this material before you cut it, because if you don't, it might, you might burn your gills. Now, we're going to pull our gills back, cut them to length. And about the, you know, the length of the bead, the width of the bead is perfect for your gills. Now, pretty well completes the fly. Now, all we're going to do is coat it. Again, UV coating. I prefer the Loctite. Some people like uh, uh, other materials, but any UV coating, anything that's a, a nice cement works really well. So just smear that on there and get it all over the fly. You know, all around the head. You know, if I could rotate, if it wouldn't go out of focus, I'd rotate the fly to, to get it all over the fly. And put that on there. And that'll be a real nice finish for the fly. So there it is, Dawn's Bronze Bomber Chronomid. As you saw, I tied it on a size 14 2X long. That's about as big as I go. You know, I'll go to a size 12 sometimes, but a 14 is really good. And again, vary the colors. That bronze tint with a magic brown bead is the best color combination for chronomid you're going to find.